Okay guys, so we got the bases of the mechanics, everything moving right, the timing as well, and the shoulders are moving. We're trying to get that timing right. So I'm happy, happy with how it looks. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start polishing the animation, bring it up a bit more. So without further ado, let's dive in and start polishing this. Okay, okay. Okay guys, so now we're going to polish. So, polishing what we'll do, we'll animate this uh, here, the belt, we'll animate the bandana and the hands, a little bit of the fingers as well, yeah? And also what we'll do, if we look at this, let's just put this all in frame, check this out. Let's go to our motion book. There you see, if you look at that, it's just going up and down, isn't it? So what we want to do, like in the previous video, the, uh, the motion trail, we made like a circle. We'll make like a very squashed circle because, you know, we know things move organically, isn't it? Like this. Yeah, so we've gone. That's that's all it is. A couple of uh, so it just breaks it up a bit, you know. So we could move it out a bit more, just to see. Yeah, because it gives it a bit of a variation, you know. Nothing goes up and down. Exactly right. So that's a little polish change we'll do there. I'm thinking Let's see Is the yes it is Let's try and push this back a bit No, that doesn't work. Okay, then what we'll do here... Oh, let's try and offset this one more frame. Which means we'll just offset the head one as well because that was offset before one by one. Yeah, yeah, that feels all right. And then what we'll do is add a bit of movement here. And then we'll add a bit on the thumb later on. So there's just a little bit of movement there. And then what we'll do, we'll add, we'll select the hand control here, go to the channel. And in between, we'll just add a bit of a movement opening up. So there's a bit of movement there. That's all we want. Just want a bit so it's alive, you know. A little bit. A little. Oops. A little bit there. And the same with the thumb. We'll just make it come out a bit. And then it comes in. Make it come out. And what we could do with this thumb is cycle it, which it probably already is, yeah, and just move it one, two, or actually one, just to create a little over overlap. And then we'll select, I'm selecting the channels here, and we'll select this to go down a little. There. 
So have a look at that. Yeah, maybe it's a bit too much, but we can just bring that down. Tone it down a bit there. Yeah, so he's ready to fight. He's gonna fight. Okay, and then the rest, well, it's pretty simple. The rest is the same, like, for example, if we're going to animate this, think of this as the center of gravity. This belt, this bit. Same as the hips, and you're working your way down. Same thing. Principles are exactly the same. Just make sure it's not intersecting, bring it out. Uh, I'm just thinking, it'll just be hanging down really, isn't it? It's just going to be hanging down like that. Just straighten this a little bit. So what we'll do, we'll just move it down here. Gravity will be doing its part. Just like that, like so. Just back. And we'll just put a uh, this, what we'll do is select this all because I've got keyframes at the end. Just animating the end pose as well. So I'll just select all of these, delete the end. Okay, there's some movement on some of them. This one. Let's check it from here. Okay, I can delete the end of editor at the end. <coughs> right here. That's all right. Okay, this one has it. That's okay. It must be on there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll do, we'll just get the top one keyed at the start and end in the middle. Just slightly move it. So it's moving. And we'll cycle that. The next one. Same thing, key at the end, go in the middle, cycle that. So maybe I have this outward like that. Okay. And then another way to do it is if we select all of these. Okay, I select all of these. Shift select, shift, shift select. Okay. Let's see if this works. So we'll just come in here, go to blue, and just slightly move it. So we've got them all moving now, right? Now what we'll do, we'll go into graph editor and we'll just cycle everything. And get the controls on here. We'll go to the bottom one here. We'll just move this by one. And then the next one, we'll just offset that by two, one, two. The next one, we'll offset it by three, one, two, three. By pressing shift, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's, it's not, you know what you can do? What you can do is you can start playing with the curves here, you see? So if we go back up to this one, we can start, Playing with, let it play, and we can start playing with this curve. There you go. You start to you start to see there's a bit of movement. Then we can start moving this up. Then we can go to the last one here and just move this up a bit, and then maybe move this down a little bit. If you think there's too much. Here, we can move that down. Move it up. And the same with this side. We've got animation on here. Let's get rid of the... Let's just keep it on the Z. So I'll just shift select all of these. Key, and then key at the end, go in the middle. And just slightly 
if you come in and select the channel, it's better because it does exactly that channel. So I'll just move it like that, make sure it's cycled. And then we'll go back. Then we'll go one by one, this one, and we'll see, all right. One, move it by one. This one, move it by one, two. This one, move it by one, two, three. This one, we can move it by one, two, three, four. There you go. And then what you do, you come back up here, play, and you can just move this up as you're playing. Stop it, go to the next one, play it, just move it up while you're playing. And then play, move this up while you're playing. Turn it down a bit. And the last one you could try Okay, so the end, the end is we move it down, move it up. That's a bit too much, but having said that, we could move this one up a bit. Could even still rotate this so it looks there's a bit of it happening there isn't it so that there see it doesn't matter of playing around really until you get the right feel and then if you think this is happening at the same time everything here is happening all you do is just grab grab all of these controls here let's do that again one two three, four, five, grab these, then get all of that and move that. You can see it's moving now. Move it about three frames. Then what you see, all with all those offsets, it will offset from the other one, see? And then you can go in. Then you can just go in and maybe be like, all right, come here. Maybe rotate it out. Yeah, so you can give it like a better feel. And then you can try and do the other axis too. But this is like, you can see they're both offset from each other. Same.